Right is on, we're ready to go on the toy show. Stand by for action. Uh, commemorative, a short price favourite. The gates are back in the rock and racing. Commemorative in the second half of the field. And Kabochi jumped particularly well together with the Black Cloud going to third, dancing alone, splitting the pair. Then Lady Laguna, Mumbai Muses whipping up the rails, clear from Aureus Angel, then Commemorative the outside. Three further back to Opal Ridge, Infancy and Diamond Models back last. The Black Cloud takes the lead now from Dancing Alone and Kamachi caught a bit deep in the third position without cover. Mumbai Muses pushing through on the rails. Then Lady Laguna from Commemory taking closer order. Further back to Aureus Angel, Opal Ridge, Infancy and Diamond Models last of all. It's the Black Cloud towards the inside in front. From Dancing Alone, Kamachi, Mumbai Muse the inside, then Lady Laguna and Commemory the widest, five off the lead. It's the Black Cloud being challenged now by Kamachi. Kamachi for the head in front from dancing alone then commemorative winding up the outside Mumbai Muse the inside it's Kamachi in front 50 out Kamachi's kicking Kamachi clinging on from commemorative and Kamachi Kamachi a neck to commemorative and Mumbai Muse then dancing alone Aureus Angel infancy back on the inside further back to the black cloud Lady Laguna diamond model and Opal Rich Great little battle there, Kamachi sold to Yulong. So haven't they have a day out and haven't they bought oh so well? Via Sestina, the Group 1 winner from earlier today from overseas for big money and they've done that too with Kamachi. And she wins first up into the preparation for Gary Portelli and Jason Collett. Mumbai Muse right there in the finish. Commemorative, she tried to pick up, she was thereabouts. Another couple of bounds she might have got there, but Kamachi, I mean, she's oh so well performed, isn't she? That's only the third win of her career, but gets another big win. She won the Group 2 Light Fingers at the start of last preparation. First up, flies again. Yeah, exactly right, Em. And I remember her oh so well when she was able to win a two-year-old maiden on the Kensington track, beating Chris Dilley on that occasion. Oh. <laughs> and then they turned the tables and ran in the Percy Sykes. And look at her, the longevity in this mare is quite remarkable. Looking at her in the eye, I thought she's definitely going to need this. She's come back bigger, stronger, but she was just too tough in the end. Great ride from Jason Collett. How would you feel? So you've got Alicia there on your oh. inside, dancing alone, and then you've got Jason, big brother, and they're fighting out the finish among a number of other contenders. So a few horses run really well in that race. Probably Lady Laguna, just the weight told in the end, maybe, but I would have to say that there's a few that were disappointing, the Black Cow being one of them and Opal Ridge. I just don't know where we're at with her. Yeah, neither do I. We said that to begin with. The big weight didn't help Lady Laguna, as you mentioned, and the Black Cloud, we did say. It was a big jump in class today, and maybe it's all come a bit too soon for her. She's still only four, and she's got the preparation ahead of her today, but Kamachi, too classy. Uh, coming up, we will go through all of our...